Well, it's a rain day and you're at Myrtle Beach, and what do you do? It's February, uh, I guess, what, it's February 12th? But it's been nasty days in the mid-50s, but what do you do here when you're on vacation in Myrtle Beach and you're looking for something to do on a rain day and you gotta get the kids out of the room? We're gonna go around and look at some of these spots here. Right now, I'm at the uh, Wax Museum. Actually a great little place to come hang out. It's actually a great time to come over here if it's not raining, but Wax Museum is one of those highlights of Myrtle Beach that you can come do on a rain day. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I've come over to Broadway at the beach and I'm gonna show you some of the top attractions in Myrtle Beach that you can do on a rain day to get the kids out of the motel room. There are no certain order. I just left the Wax Museum, which is actually across the street from Broadway at the beach. But, uh, Number two, I think, but they're in no certain order. It's actually right here at Broadway at the beach, and it's Wonderworks, which is right here behind me. Wonderworks has got three floors of a lot of fun and a lot of energy burning. Uh, not been in there with a video camera or anything, so I can't really show you the inside of it or anything. But uh, as far as Myrtle Beach, Broadway at the beach is concerned, that is number two. Uh, and it's big. Wonderworks is really big and a lot of fun. Kids are going to have a blast. Well, these are nice. I just noticed these uh, came over a couple of times actually this week, but this is my first time down here on this end. And they've added these nice little uh, planters right here. Got some flowers in there, got some pansies. That looks really good. Sprucing the place up here, it looks like. Well, they got them on both sides and actually got new garbage cans out. That looks really good. Now I would say number four and five are actually right here together. You have the mirror maze and there's the escape games at the backstage. They were a lot of fun. I've not done this mirror maze here, but we did the one down on the boulevard. But Nalani has actually done the uh, escape games here. And she had a really good time in there. So uh, that's one thing that you can bring the kids over here and do here at Broadway at the beach. And these new uh, this area, they, I think they finally about got it finished. Um, it looks like they got to put the grates around these palm trees here. But they've got all the brick pavers down and this is completely just about finished. Well, I got to do some landscaping over here. They were working on this this week when I was over here one day. They've got this finished, and this looks really good. And get this landscaping knocked out. And this is going to look really good in here. But I love these brick pavers here in front of Ron John's. Love the design on it. Makes that fountain look so much better now. I kind of wish the Disney store was still here. But that looks really good. And you got some crepe myrtles down here, and you have some more palm trees. There's plenty of seating down here. You can set up underneath those live oaks in the summer and get underneath some shade here. But this is going to be really nice in here this summer. Oh, they got some, uh, got the flowers out, got the plant material out. They've been busy over here this week. Now, I do believe they've added more seating out here where you can actually sit down. This is right out in front of uh, Fat Tuesdays and Senior Frogs, but I don't remember them having those benches out like that and I do like the way they've done these pansies up here put that little grate around these pansies protect them a little bit but can't wait for them to get the uh, fountain up and going out here in front of Hard Rock they added some more seating there so yeah I think that's all new uh, they didn't have those at those seats out here before out in the middle that's uh, that's a nice little touch. Well, there's nothing, nothing happening here at the Key West Grill. This is uh, actually probably one of the uh, restaurants that I really, really wish they would do something with here. Somebody really needs to come in and take this and uh, do something with it. Maybe some type of pirating theme or something along those lines. If you have any ideas or if uh, Key West Grill was one of your favorite restaurants here, uh, put put a comment down there in the in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking here on it. But they really need to do something with Key West. And the number one attraction, believe it or not, is Ripley's Aquarium here. 
love Ripley's Aquarium. This is probably one of the only places that we have bought season passes for the whole year to actually come over and enjoy. We'll just come over and walk around. Do a, I've done a lot of them. The videos that I first started with were here at Ripley's, but uh, I love looking at Gabby and watching the shark swim over my head. Love the little penguin exhibit, which is new. I think it opened up two years ago, but it was a lot of fun. But Ripley's Aquarium is the number one attraction, I think, in Myrtle Beach for a good rain day, but it's actually uh, being Broadway at the beach is probably uh, number one attraction in Myrtle Beach. But Ripley's Aquarium is definitely number one at Broadway at the beach. All right, so here's another attraction. If your kids love dinosaurs, like Adrian did when he was growing up, wish they had this when he was growing up, but uh, you can come over here and hang out with a bunch of dinosaurs over here. It's right behind Ripley's Aquarium. I've not done it yet, so I don't know where you can, where I would put it at. But it's a new attraction here. I think it's been here for a couple of years, but I've never done it yet. So, but don't forget about Dino Park right here. Dinosaurs, come out and hang out with them interactive dinosaurs and this is actually the reason I came over look at how big the hangout is that is absolutely huge now they've taken taken one of the uh, walkways out I've been coming over and taking pictures three or four days this week they've put up a new end down here towards the Hampton Inn which is probably one of the better motels in Myrtle Beach. If you uh, don't want to be right on the beach and you want to be over here at Broadway at the beach, I would highly suggest staying at the Hampton Inn. You got that beautiful view in the evenings all the way back down to the Ferris wheel, which will look really good this time, any time of the night when it's all lit up. So that would be your view back down towards the Ferris wheel and Wonder Works. But like I said, they've taken this one walkway out, so they've opened up this part of the lake a lot here. I don't know what their plans are here. Uh, some of the birds are still hanging out, whether or not they're going to continue that on. But let's walk on over here to uh, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and get some uh, get a look back at it from this other angle over here. But somebody had told me that the hangout was going to be open February in February, so uh, you can see they're not going to make February. Uh, I mean, they've got a whole whole crew over there working, but they're doing a lot of work over here. It's been amazing to watch them tear these piers out, these walkways out. But uh, been a lot of fun coming over and just watching them. So let's walk over to Margaritaville. This new decking looks really, really good. I. And they've done all over here at uh, over in Jimmy Buffett's. But I'm just gonna walk over here real quick, take a look right there at that seawall there, right in front of the Hampton. Well, I guess you could probably see it from here. I don't need to walk over there. But there's the new seawall they're putting in. That would be your walkway around. Now it looks like. So it's right on the outside of their property, outside of their pool. And that will be Key West Village right here. Now this big building here in the center, I have no idea what that is, but that's part of Key West Village. And then the hangout. Now I think this is new. I remember them having some outdoor seating over here, but not quite that much. And it's all coordinated and matching. That looks really good. So when you're at Ripley's Aquarium, I guess you can come out here and eat out here on the back deck. Or you uh, actually might even be able to uh, walk in there and order from in there and eat. I do know on that side of the building right there, they do uh, like uh, parties and stuff like that. Birthday parties and stuff is where they set that up. I think actually, uh, I think that's where Gina had her... Uh, thing for Adrian I believe when he was born but yeah they've got some light they even got lights up right there that is new that's got to be new I don't remember that got a couple of uh, propane burners out here that you can uh, fire pit top deals there but that's all new 
Well, this is something I'm excited to see here. Anthems of Rock. Myrtle Beach, are you ready to rock? I think the shows start on the 17th of February. So uh, I think it's uh, around $40 a person down to $30, depending on where you get your tickets from. So that's right here at the old IMAX Theater across from the uh, Simpsons 4D, which is one of my picks for top things to do in Myrtle Beach when you uh, got the kids locked up in the room all day long and you need to get them out so you can bring them over here at the Broadway at the beach and uh, you can go see the uh, Simpsons 4D show. Now it's only about 15 minutes long but it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Big theater in there. Big interactive squirt you with water and do some other things but uh, that's a lot of fun. And then you can go into Quickie Mart and have you a squishy after that. That's probably my favorite drink here at Broadway at the Beach. Is located right in that Quickie Mart. Get me, a, get you a squishy. I didn't really think about it here until I just walked up on it. Build a Bear Workshop. That would be another thing that you could come and bring the kids and do on a rain day here in Myrtle Beach, while you take in some of the other attractions here in and out but uh, I would say uh, definitely come definitely consider coming over to Broadway at the beach on your rain days all right so I'm gonna take off here from Broadway at the beach and actually head down towards the boulevard to show you a few things down there that you could actually consider but the reason I pick uh, Broadway at the beach as your destination on a rain day there's just so many different things you can do over here from Ripley's Aquarium to Wonder Works the Build-A-Bear, Simpsons 4D, the Mirror Maze, you got a bunch of restaurants, uh, the parking's free, uh, Wax Museum's right across the street, so I would say that uh, this is actually would be the place I would come and I'd want to come to. But uh, let's go down to the boulevard. Uh, another idea to really, really burn off a lot of energy is Rock and Jump right here across from the convention center actually the convention center is right there so you have rock and jump i think i've got some footage in there if i can find it i'll throw it in i'm not going to walk inside and record or try to record inside but uh, it's on 22nd 2200 off of oak street which is uh i guess over here the uh, nearest motels would be uh well i can't make them out from down here the Anderson's real close, but you've got Ocean Boulevard just right there. So, uh, but anyway, rock and jump. Now, there's actually Big Air, which is down south. It's in between Myrtle Beach and the campgrounds. The closest campground to it would be Pirate Land. It's actually down there in the uh, old flea market. There's a food line there, but down south, and I will take you down there and show you show you the. All right, so I just went up and asked her, uh, if you do Ripley's Believe It or Not, or actually if you do Ripley's Aquarium and three more attractions, which you could do Ripley's Believe It or Not, the Mirror Maze, which is down on the Boulevard Hill a little bit, and then the uh, 4D, Ripley's 4D down there, and then actually there is the Haunted House. So you could do all four of those attractions. Boy, that's a big old bus. But you can do Ripley's Believe It or Not, the aquarium and these other two attractions down here and that would actually be uh, $54.99 so actually that is a pretty good deal uh, but the bad thing about coming down here on the boulevard is parking in the summertime it's hard to find a spot down here to park parking is going to be anywhere from ten to twenty dollars now if you go across the street over towards Kmart what used to be Kmart you can park for free over there and just walk down here so uh, you don't want to spend that $20 for all day and then the big parking garage which is uh, used to be part of the pavilion over here which is no longer here I think it's $10 but most of these little parking places behind the gay dolphin and all that they range from anywhere from 10 to $20 for the day so but anyway you got that little arcade in here also, so it's a good little place to bring the kids 
on a rain day so you could take all these in if it's going to be raining for a few days you got uh, several different attractions you can do and then down on the boulevard you always got your game rooms always a fun time in the game rooms all right so i'm going to head to uh lowe's now buy a battery then i'll show you these last two things my last two picks for a rain day down here so uh let's head over to lowe's all right, for all you guys, when you're down here on vacation and you got to come get something for your honey-do list, you got to come to Lowe's. Well, actually, that's not a uh, honey-do list. This is uh, I needed some A23 batteries for my boat meter. I got uh, got surprised by what I thought was a dead wire today. Uh, this morning, working on something. Uh, I shot a little video this morning of uh, what I got going on at my house, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that back until maybe the whole project's done, or at least the uh, part of the project's done. But uh, let's head on to these last two attractions. All right, so here we are at Big Air. It's actually down on the uh, south side of Myrtle Beach in the Food Line Shopping Plaza, where the old flea market is. Well, the flea market's still here, but Big Air took a lot of that room, and this is a really, really big area here on the inside. I've never been in it. I just looked in the window. Like I said, I don't like recording inside uh, establishments if I can keep away from it, but uh, it's actually before you get to the campgrounds down by Spring Maid Pier. All right, so... Uh, we're down to my last two picks, actually three picks, but I'm not going to make it down to my last pick because it's down on 544 uh, down in Surfside Beach. It's actually the roller roller skating rink down there. They've got uh, the big roller rink. They have uh, laser tag, got a big game room, got some jumping, jumping houses in there. But here you have Grand 14, which is actually our favorite movie theater to come to. It's located in Market Common. Uh, you only have uh, three movie theaters now. The other two are at the malls. So, uh, but this is our favorite right here is Grand 14. All right, so my last pick right here is 810 Billiards and Bowling. There's actually uh, three locations. One here in Market Commons, which is on the south end. You have one up in North Myrtle Beach. And then you have one at Coastal Carolina, but they uh, I don't know if the one out in Coastal Carolina has it or not But you also have the crazy Mason milkshake bar in here so you can get your milkshakes in here uh, But uh, this billiards and bowling is 810 is really really nice inside It's only a couple years old and they've done a really good job in there with it Well, I didn't see this uh, until just now Did not know it was over here. They're actually closed right now uh, so I guess you can book this for a party or something, but it's a escape room right here. It's in between uh, 810 Bowling and the movie theater. So it's just right down the street from the movie theater. So uh, check that out. Well, I'm going to uh, head to the house. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll go through this uh, A23 battery in my voltmeter and see if I can shock the monkey again. But uh, <laughs> hope you hope you like this video. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side, and stay frosty.